Hey everybody, it's Karen from Our Fall Acrylics. How are you? A little bit of glare. I get a lot of morning light in my kitchen, so sorry for that. It'll be okay once we get done on the canvas. This is actually take two. Um, I tried to do a sandwich pour on a 16 by 20. I wasn't happy with the results and I just scraped it and uh, torched it and it's too monochromatic and uh, decided to change up the colors because I was using I was using this yellow gold color and it just looks like baby poo. Like I just, I can't, I can't use that color. So do ever. Mulligan, call in a mulligan. So let me get you down. I've uh, eradicated that color out of this painting though, pretty much. Ugh, move. What is that? Nope. One more. Ugh. Uh, Pretty good, right there. Is that the whole canvas? Yep, pretty much right there. So there's my mess. I made up, <clears throat> excuse me, a batch of new colors. Um, so we've got three different brands. Um, we have Amsterdam Greenish Blue, perennial favorite right there. We have some Blix Bright Aqua Green. Very pretty, just three colors. And then we have some Liquitex Basics in Prism of Violet, this guy right here. We are back to my tried and true pouring medium recipe, which is four ounces of water, eight ounces of golden color pouring medium in gloss, this stuff right here, and 12 ounces of Elmer's Glue Wall that makes 24 ounces that I mix up in a big thing like this and with the lid and get to keep it. I've added three drops of my, where did I go with it? My spot on treadmill silicone into the colors, gave them a good mix. And I think I'm just gonna take two cups. I think I only need two, maybe two and a half. Let me ponder it. Maybe I'll save enough for a third cup if I need it. But I'm just gonna go ahead and splat that right on there why not start off with our white um, consistency always like a little bit of a trace I don't know if you can see it with the white but it takes a good two seconds for it to disappear so there's the mound and if you watch it actually that's probably a little thick even for me I'm gonna add a little water to that give that another mix that's been sitting so it thickened up I'm gonna try this again. I think I've mentioned it before, but a good, uh, I got tons of bubbles. I'm gonna uh, take a torch to the bubbles. I had to break up my Mac Daddy uh, propane torch for this too, because uh, I'm just about out of propane in my kitchen torch. All right, this is better. So pull away, one, two, disappears, much better. So that's consistency. And sandwich pour, I'm gonna put a whole bunch of white on the bottom, layered the three colors, and then put a whole bunch of white on the top. And let's start with the violet. And I fully expect these to get lighter, which is what I want to happen. Oh, what was I saying? Oh, consistency. Always a good idea. You can obviously feel it. You can do your little tests. You can count. You can look at the mound. You can do all of that. They're all good ways to judge consistency. But I have found by closing my eyes suddenly the feel becomes the most important sense and you can really feel what's going on with your paint. I should try to do a pour blindfolded. Wouldn't that be hilarious and scary? <laughs> All right, now the blue. And we'll save some for a third cup. I saved a little bit of each in case I need a third cup. I'm gonna put a whole bunch of white on top. 
make a little sandwich of color like that. And hopefully you got enough paint on here that uh, things will slide around fairly well. And give this a flip. Mm. Give that a flip. And I'm gonna want those to touch because I don't want that green in between like that. So let's do this so they don't. I'll just put some right like that. Try to save some white in case I need that third cup. colors together very much. All right. Mm. Well, that was not what I wanted. Well, we'll see. It did get lighter, so that's pretty. But I wanted more white. And that is definitely not more white. So, so much for it being all pale. There we go. Run a pattern through it. So that's called my flip and lip. Just taking the lip of the cup, making a little pattern. I'm gonna run through that right there too. Bring some colors up. I think I'll have enough paint though. This might be really pretty, we'll see. All right, let's uh, save a little bit of paint in there. Maybe we'll throw it on the corners. Let's do that. Even though there's enough paint on here that things should slide off pretty easy from this other pour. All right. Loop. Let's stretch things out before we torch. Ooh, I do like the colors. I'll take it back. Mm -hmm. Let's stretch it out this way over this side a little bit. Oh yeah, see, that was a good call. I only needed two cups. Wow. All right, let me wipe off my hands and give us a torch. I'm probably gonna get this video up today too instead of waiting for this to dry because uh, this, will, this will take three or four days to dry. So I'll show the dried results in the next video, I think. All right, so we've got Mac Daddy, my pro paint torch, so I gotta be careful with this. I'll keep it up high. Just getting speckles. And there's some. because I was overly cautious, but 
That took a long time, right? All right. It looks really busy to me right now. Uh, what do I like? Not like. I don't like this. I don't like that big cell right there. So let me head to these two corners first. I should have plenty of paint. Um, liking the colors very much though. Let me see, take the weight of the paint. I think I'll go over to this corner up here first. Kind of slow. Yeah, some of this stuff can go. Too many cells for my liking. I'm just gonna go for it. Bring it back. Head over to that other corner, wiggle, wiggle. Like you're driving an airplane, keep the plane level. Just tilt your wings. It's getting over there. It's getting there. And I'm gonna go for it. Bring it back. I don't like that one bright purple cell. I'm gonna take him off. He was too, look at me, everybody. Like, yeah, yeah, these too, too much of a cluster up here too. So hold on, fuss with this top part a little bit. There we go. I'm gonna bring everything down now. Really slow. Let me stop and look at it before I hit the other two corners. Really interesting how you got so many different shades of colors just from three with all the white. All right, so far so good. I don't know if I like all the pale, which is silly because I'm the one who wanted to do a sandwich pour. Um, I'm kind of liking this. So the weight of the paint is smack dab in the center of my canvas right now. And I am a little worried that I don't have enough paint. So this is going to be tricky. I'm going to try to go to that corner there. But I'm worried about losing the shape of my cells. So we're going to just go slow. Slow. And it's not gonna make it over there. I'm gonna bring everything back a second. Ponder my next move. I'm gonna fix some of my shapes of my cells. I'm gonna take it off this one corner. This one side a bit. Hold on, some there. And bring it back. Which is dumb because I need more paint and there I am pouring some off. But, what can I do? Maybe I need that third cup. The green almost blends in. I can't leave it like that. You tell them doodles. Yeah, see how and it's like barely moving around? It's like, yep. We don't really want to float anymore, lady. We're out of the pool. Can't float. Which means I need something for my two ends. I always, I swear, I make everything really hard on myself. Um, do I just make another cup? And toss a bad boy on there? I guess I have to. I guess I really don't have a choice. All right. Let's just stick it on this corner. So the white. Let's do, let's change up the order. Let's do purple.
the aqua and the blue green. This is insanity, Karen. You should really try to stretch it out before you dump this cup on. Let's see. Yeah, see, everything's going to get all wonky. And you just made everything all wonky. So let's do this. Let's go embrace the wonkiness for a second. Yep, see what I mean? When you don't have enough paint and you have cells, that's called, that's a fail right there. That's the artist being a goober, screwing up a painting, totally screwing it up. You tell him, Dusty. So I'm a golden and I'm going to wag my tail and sound mean at the same time because I'm a poser. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, let's see if we can uh, fix this guy. Not torching until the end. There's something in my painting. What is that? Is there something there or not? Hold on. I had to grab tweezers. Definitely a blob there, for sure. All right, carrying on. Sorry if you can't see, it's give me 10 seconds. Almost, oops, almost there, stop. Bring things back. Oh my gosh, those colors are amazing. All right. Let's give it a torch now. I like the composition.
that worked out. I didn't want to torch up the whole thing, so I was just, I don't know if you could tell, I was just trying to follow lines. Now, since I stretched it out, the cells might remain a little small, but uh, I think for this one, that'll be just fine because it's pretty. I, I swear I do everything the hardest way possible. I really do. You guys must, I don't know what you think when you watch my videos, because I watch other artists and it's like, ta-da, one try and here's my beautiful painting. And I'm like, I'm always dumping more paint on and scraping things and are not happy with it or, I don't know. I'm just letting that sit, see what the cells do. I might leave it like that. I'm not so sure I can even um, really tilt anymore because I tilted a lot of paint off. Uh, like I barely did that corner. So uh, this is a much better result though. I gotta say, this is super, super pretty. Um, let me see if I can tilt it all just to make a couple cells grow. Only because I'm, I'm of two minds. I feel like some parts are a little crowded, but because they're small, maybe that doesn't bother me. And I love my big blank areas, the background. Um, I got one bikini corner, but I don't mind it. I love this part here. I don't know. So if I'd go anywhere, maybe a little towards me right here, just to bring this over. But I'm serious, if this doesn't move, I'm leaving it. Because I think this is pretty great just the way it is. And <laughs> yeah, nothing's happening. It's, uh, it's done. Or maybe a little bit. It's very, very slow moving. Let's just say very slow. So I've got a couple of these a little closer. This little chain of islands closer. Let me go back the other way, see. See if you can even see it move. Anything happening? I mean, that's a pretty good tilt. And I probably have a little um, too many cells and that's I attribute that to me just um, not being used to using uh, Mac Daddy. Mac Daddy, I, say, I use that for when I do resin. My resin work. Um, ta da! Et voila! C'est magnifique. Uh, très bien. Zut alors. <laughs> That's my French for the day. Ta da! I'm really happy with it. Um, small, small cells, but some primo ones. And like the clusters are really, really pretty. The colors, it's just like looking down at some tropical paradise. So yay, let me get you guys down. Sorry I did it the hard way, as usual. Ugh. So start up here. So this is the top of the painting, hanging vertically. There's my bikini corner. And then it comes across to the blue lagoon. Very Maldives looking to me. And then it changes into this purple section with the white, really pretty. This part over here, like down toward the side in the middle, like those cells are really nice. They're small, but they have the rings within the rings with the rings, there's like five rings in some of these. And then you come across the middle with a little cluster, really, really pretty. And I just love the blank that and the blending of the colors. And then the bottom here is like another little chain of islands at the bottom that runs all the way across. And I love how the colors change. So yeah, really liking just three colors. Um, that kind of reminds me, like maybe I should do another uh, series like I did last year, like the black and white plus three. You guys up for that? That'd be kind of fun, right? Um, or if you want something else, let me know. I'm thinking of doing a live pour. I'll have more details in the next video. I gotta pick a date um, for a live pour. So start thinking about what you wanna see. Um, if anything at all, otherwise just come hang out and chat. 
Anyway, shout out to Becky for supporting my channel. Thank you, thank you so much. All my links and everything are in the description. Please like, share, and subscribe. Yada, yada. Thanks for the support, you guys. Take care. Bye-bye.